Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub from Lahore, Pakistan, and once again I welcome you guys to my academic IELTS reading video and the question type which we are going to do. Many students are confused. Many students are double-minded, rather triple-minded about this type of questions. And as you read the title, yes. This video is about which paragraph contains, no, this video is about a list of headings or we also call it paragraph headings. Now I'm going to tell you what is the logic behind list of headings, how the headings are made, how to observe the heading and then how to match the heading with the paragraph, how to read the paragraph, what to look in the paragraph, what to see in the paragraph and how a paragraph and a heading can be matched and how to avoid a trap. If there are five paragraphs, they always give you eight headings. Three extra headings are traps. So how to avoid trap, how to read the heading, how to read the paragraph, then how to match right heading with the right paragraph. All these things we are going to discuss. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon. So guys, let's go to the handout now and I'm going to solve the test for you. Let's take a start. Okay guys, the type of questions which we are going to discuss here is list of headings and this list of headings we have in section 3, uh, passage 3, right? So the questions are like 27 to 34, so there are so many questions in list of headings. Now it's a good idea to quickly go through this list of headings so that when you go to the passage you already know what to look for. So this is heading number 1 by the way, this is the mistake in the book. Heading number one is complaints about the impact. Main word is complaints about the impact of a certain approach. Fundamental beliefs that are in fact incorrect. Fundamental beliefs and the main thing is incorrect. Now you got to do it quickly. I'm explaining that's why I'm slow. Otherwise you got to do it quite quickly. Early recommendations. Early means the history, the past and all that recommendations concerning business activities okay organizations that put a new approach into practice organizations they can be the names of the organizations or various or different organizations that put a new approach uh, companies that have suffered from changing their approach companies and suffered so companies and organizations are same but the difference is organizations that put a new approach and companies that have suffered from changing their approach. What people are increasingly expected to do? So people expected to do. Do is the main thing here. How to achieve outcomes that are currently impossible? Outcomes that are currently impossible. So outcomes and then how to achieve them. Uh, neither approach guarantees continuous improvement. So they talk about some approaches and neither of them guarantees continuous improvement. Evidence that a certain approach can have. Evidence. The most important thing is evidence here. Evidence that a certain approach can have more advantages than disadvantages. Now at least we have some idea and you can do this in one minute or less than that even. Okay. Now we go to paragraph A. And we are going to see which option is going to be about that. Now you guys can see each paragraph has got three parts, right? And in the questions, if you go through the questions, they write here clearly. Uh, reading passage 3 has eight sections. Now section does not mean a paragraph. Section can be a group of paragraphs as well. They can be two paragraphs or three sections A to H and choose the correct heading. Uh, for each section, not paragraph. So, if we go on with paragraph A, organization is big business, whether it is for our lives, all those in boxes and calendars, blah, 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 and all that, multi-billion dollar industry. Now, he's just talking about organizations in general. We do have some questions about organizations, but our questions are specific, new approach and suffered, but this is organizations in general. All right, let's go on. 
we have more strategies for time management project management and self organization than at any other time in human history we are told that we ought to organize our company we are told this is important here that we ought to organize our company our home life okay our week our day and even our sleep all as means to becoming more productive we are told and this is important now this is the crux of this paragraph by the way every week countless seminars and workshops take place blah 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 then they say the rhetoric has also crept into the thinking of business leaders and entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurs sorry much to the delight of self proclaimed perfectionists with the need to get everything right the number of business schools graduates has massively increased over the past 50 years so what i understand the main thing is we have more strategies for time management project management or self organization than any other uh, time in human history and we are told that uh, we ought to organize our company our home life our week our day even our sleep all as means to becoming more productive and every week seminars and all that and then there is a little about rhetoric thinking entrepreneurs and perfectionists and all that now let's go back quickly complaints about the impact no there isn't any complaint here fundamental beliefs that are in fact incorrect no there isn't anything like that early recommendations no early means something like past there isn't anything like that okay then they say organizations that put a new approach into practice they talked about organizations but there isn't anything putting like a new approach in practice next companies that have suffered no in that part there is no suffering what people are increasingly expected to do let's see what people are increasingly expected to do i've got a little concern about this let's just go back what people are increasingly expected to do we are told that okay okay we have more strategies for time management more strategies that's one thing for time management project management and self organization than at any other time in the in human history and then we are told we are told means expected that we ought to we are told that we ought to means we are expected so what is this option what people are increasingly expected to do and for to do they are talking about this thing for to do means to organize our company our home life our week our day even our sleep so for all these things is just used one word that is do we are told people are increasingly expected yes that's right so guys i mean the thing is you might think that this is not directly that now you are doing section 3 and section 3 list of headings that's a little more complicated so what people are increasingly expected to do that is going to be the answer for this question once again i just tell you as they say we are told that we ought to organize our company then they say we have no more strategies right and then our company our home our week and all that stuff okay and there isn't any mention over here now let's go on we read paragraph b ironically however the number of businesses that fail has also steadily increased work related stress has increased a large proportion of workers from all demographics claim to be dissatisfied with the way their work is structured okay that's right and the way they are they are managed now what are they doing here i don't like how the number of businesses that fail the number of business that fail has also steadily increased and then work related stress that's one thing has increased large proportion of workers from all demographics claim to be dissatisfied work related stress has increased workers from all demographic claim to be dissatisfied with the way their work is structured and the way they are managed and then they say this begs the question what has gone wrong okay what is that on paper the drive for organization seems a sure shot for increasing productivity but in reality falls well short of what is expected okay now let's see they are talking about something i mean to my understanding what they are doing they are just saying ironically however the number of businesses that fail has also steadily increased 
this is one of the things they mentioned work related stress this is the second thing they mentioned here and a large proportion of workers from all demographic claim to be dissatisfied with the way their work is structured now what is that the way their work is structured and the way they are managed so they are actually dissatisfied with that now let's go back and see heading number one complaints about the impact of certain approach all right this actually rings a bell complaints about the impact of a certain approach now we got to see what sort of thing we got to see what what sort of thing is actually mentioned here that talks about this uh, complaint and then impact of a certain approach when they say ironically however the number of businesses that fail has also steadily increased and then this thing work related stress has increased large proportion of workers from all demographics claim to be dissatisfied and then way their work is structured that and the way they are managed now the way their work is structured and the way they are managed that is the impact of a certain approach right so you can see this and the next part is this begs the question what has gone wrong why is it on paper the drive for organization seems a sure shot for increasing productivity but in reality for okay so this increasing pro productivity and for for what they are doing they are actually structuring people's life and their work so this is the approach and then these are the complaints which are related to that so complaints about the impact now this is the impact of this certain approach and the approach is they are structuring their lives that is why for section b the right answer is one okay now let's go on so this is already done we are going to cross this as well well uh, next is paragraph c and it's only one paragraph so it's going to be easier there we had two paragraphs there we had three paragraphs so let's see this has been a problem for a while now because you know in the beginning they say why companies should welcome disorder right this has been a problem for a while now this means what they said before uh, Frederick Taylor now this is important because there can be more questions about that was one of the forefathers of sci scientific management writing now in the first half of the 20th century now this is basically the time first half of the 20th century point to be noted guys he designed a number of principles to improve the efficiency of the work process which have since become widespread in modern companies so the approach has been around for a while so his approach has been around now see first half of the 20th century and that is actually earlier see this option number three because early was in my mind so that's why it's a good idea to just encircle a couple of words so that if there is anything it clicks you now i had underlined i had encircled early and when i read this first half of the 20th century so this first half of the 20th century rang a bell and i realized it can be early recommendations concerning business activities now early recommendations concerning business activities we can see that what are the recommendation this has been a problem frederick taylor was one of the forefathers of scientific manager writing in the first half of the 20th century he designed a number of principles to improve the efficiency now these are his recommendations of the work process which have since become widespread in modern companies so these are his recommendations so the approach has been around for a while and that's the early time so that's why for section c the correct answer is heading number three i tell you this is a bit complicated test three is also taken okay now let's go on to the next paragraph and we are going to see which heading, heading is going to be appropriate for that okay d new research suggests now they're talking about some new research you just need to focus this uh, that this obsession with efficiency is misguided okay that's right uh, the problem is not now first they say it's misguided means it is something which is not right new research says that this obsession with efficiency this obsession means time management 
स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट दिस मैनेजमेंट दैट मैनेजमेंट विद एफिशिएंसी इज मिस गाइडेड मिस गाइडेड मींस एक्चुअली इट्स मिस लीडिंग राइट एंड दिस ऑब्सेशन मींस द सेम थिंग द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट नेसेसरीली द मैनेजमेंट थियरीज और स्ट्रेटजीज वी यूज टू ऑर्गेनाइज आवर वर्क इट्स द बेसिक एजम्पशन वी होल्ड इन अप्रोचिंग हाउ वी वर्क here it's the assumption that order is a necessary condition for productivity okay this assumption has also fostered the idea that disorder must be detrimental to organization productivity and all that but in the beginning mainly focused uh, one thing that is new research suggested that this obsession with efficiency is misguided means it's wrong means it's actually incorrect misguided and then he explains so if we come back wow heading number 2 says fundamental beliefs that are in fact incorrect now let me tell you guys what are fundamental beliefs the fundamental beliefs is new research suggests that this obsession for this obsession is using the word fundamental beliefs and by the way this obsession with efficiency now what is obsession with efficiency that we are talking about this time management stress management and all that is misguided the problem is not necessarily the management theories or strategies right we use to organize our work it's the basic assumptions we hold right so over here they're talking about this so fundamental beliefs means all the beliefs that are in fact incorrect in fact incorrect and for that actually they are saying uh, with efficiency is misguided new research suggests that it is misguided it is wrong so this was easy so for paragraph d heading number 2 is the right answer we cross it here as well okay now let's go on next is paragraph e So we got to see where is the clue. And by the way, you can you can take a look at the other headings as well. Now you don't need to read this. Now we are left with organizations that put a new approach. So it's a good idea after two three questions, read all the options, all the headings again. Companies that have suffered how to achieve outcome that are currently impossible. Neither approach guarantees evidence that a certain approach. Okay, let's start. What's more, recent studies show that. now recent studies show something that order actually has diminishing returns order order in life order in work and all that actually has diminishing returns order does increase productivity order means order in work order in life order like that does increase productivity that's what they say here right so recent studies show that order actually has diminishing return order does increase productivity to a certain extent but eventually the usefulness of the process of organization and the benefits it yields reduce until the point where any further increase in order reduces productivity okay now this is technical see that in the beginning what they are trying to say is recent studies show wow when they say re recent studies show it means they are providing a certain evidence of something recent studies show so that means it's a sort of evidence for that that order actually does diminishing returns order does increase productivity and all that so from recent studies but i understand it's not organization it's not companies it's this evidence that a certain approach can have more advantages than disadvantages and i'm going to prove that for evidence they use the word for certain approach this is important by the way in list of headings for certain approach they say what's more recent studies show that order certain approach is order order is that certain approach has diminishing returns means advantages okay diminishing but diminishing is that fails uh, does increase okay order does increase productivity sorry this one is the advantage order does order is the certain approach and increased productivity is the advantage to a certain extent but eventually the usefulness of the process of organization and the benefit it yields reduce until the point where any further increase in order reduces productivity some argue that in a business if a cost formally this is now change of topic here but anyways the main deciding factor is recent studies show show means this is the evidence they are providing so 
evidence that a certain approach uh, can have more advantages than disadvantages it's option number nine this is also taken now we are left with one two three four and one two three all right okay so let's go on all right now let's go on with the 31 question section uh, sorry 32 question section f here we got section f it's a short paragraph so we can read that in fact, research shows, again some research shows uh, that when innovating, the best approach is to create an environment uh, devoid of structure and a hierarchy and enable everyone involved to engage as one organic group, okay? These environments that they talked before can lead to new solutions that under conventionally structured environments filled with bottlenecks in terms of information flow, power structures, rules and routines would never be reached. Now just ignore this and just try to read structural environments. Uh, sorry, then they say under conventionally structured environments, these environments can lead to new solutions. Now they're talking about solutions, new solutions that under conventionally structured environments would never be reached. So these solutions would never be reached. Okay, let's see with the options which are left. Organizations that put a new approach into practice. No, they don't talk about it. Companies that have suffered from changing their approach. No, it's not that. How to achieve outcomes. All right, outcomes and solutions. How to achieve outcomes that are currently impossible wow how to achieve outcomes that are currently impossible now here it says these environments can lead to new solutions new solutions means outcomes and then they say uh, under conventionally structured environments uh, these environments can lead to new solutions that under conventionally structured environments and then this thing so these new solutions that would never be reached that would never be reached otherwise so these new solutions are basically uh, the outcomes that are currently impossible for currently impossible they are using the word would never be reached okay so because of this and this the heading for paragraph F is how to achieve outcomes that are currently impossible heading number seven okay this is taken now we are left with two paragraphs and three headings organizations that put a new approach companies that have suffered and neither approach guarantees continuous improvement all right and from time to time it's a good idea to go through the headings now we have paragraph g and uh, see there are one two three section g has got three paragraphs so let's just start in recent times company have slowly started to embrace uh, this this organization uh, many of them embrace it in terms of perception embracing the idea of disorder as opposed to fearing it and in terms of process putting mechanism in place and all that recent times companies have slowly started to embrace this disorganization for example, oh, sometimes there is something in example. For example, Oticon, a large Danish manufacturer of hearing aids, used what it called a spaghetti structure. This is something unusual. Spaghetti structure in order to reduce the organization's rigid hierarchies. Spaghetti structure and the purpose to reduce the organization rigid hierarchies. This involves scraping formal job titles and giving staff huge amounts of ownership over their own time and projects and this approach proved to be highly successful initially with clear improvements in work productivity in all facets of business facets of business okay that's right let's see now the spaghetti structure and we are left with three options organizations that put new approach into practice wow it rings a bell i tell you why put a new approach and that spaghetti thing spaghetti structure that is a new approach organization is oticon right oticon is the organization and they use this new structure and then if you go on in similar fashion of former chairman general electric they talk about general electric 
embrace disorganization putting forward the idea of uh, yeah yeah wow now it's not organized that's what i was thinking now it's organizations one and two general electric uh, embrace disorganization putting forward the idea of boundaryless organization spaghetti structure and boundaryless organization and then they explain that very good so i was just thinking because there they said organizations that uh, put a new approach into practice so organizations are basically uh, octicon and the second one is this uh, uh, boundaryless organization by uh, general electric okay so paragraph g the right option is four so we write four here and i'm going to cross this as well now you can decide huh two options and one uh, section left companies that have suffered from changing their approach now we got to see if they talk about companies that have suffered from changing their approach and second is neither approach guarantees continuous improvement all right now here we are last paragraph a word of warning okay see that the paragraph starts with it it means there's going to be some precautionary things a word of warning to others others thinking of jumping on this bandwagon bandwagon means to use these approaches and all that the evidence so far suggests disorder much like order also seems to have diminishing utility evidence so far suggests disorder okay so this just disorder much like order also seems to have diminishing utility and can also have detrimental effects the harmful effects on performance if overused means there is no guarantee when they say word of warning to others thinking of jumping on this bandwagon the evidence so far suggests disorder much like order also seems to have diminishing utility and can also have detrimental effects i mean this approach can have detrimental effects on performance if overused right so that and like uh, order disorder should be embraced only so far as useful but we should not fear it and all that we are left with two options only now but they say here uh, first they say here actually that uh, the companies that have suffered from changing their approach they don't say companies suffering from changing their approach so this option was actually a trap now we are left with neither approach guarantees continuous improvement neither approach means all these approaches they talked about guarantees continuous improvement if you come back a word of warning to others thinking of jumping on this bandwagon on this bandwagon means on this approach and then the evidence so far suggests disorder much like order also seems to have diminishing utility this and can also have detrimental effect on performance if overused so that's what they say here neither approach guarantees continuous improvement means sometimes instead of uh, improvement as they say here on performance if overused detrimental means negative effects on performance if overused so option 8 is going to be the answer here okay this is done as well and all that so this is how you guys need to do this uh, list of headings although it's not easy but through practice and if you read the headings you can be clear about it all the best guys welcome back see that now list of heading is your love you love list of headings isn't it it is okay so now actually you know after watching each video it's a good idea to do that question type i mean now go to any other cambridge book and find list of headings and at least try to solve five list of headings uh what do you say set of questions not five questions five sets one set has around five questions so once you do that all the tips which you have seen in this video those tips will be applied there and once you apply the tip and then that tip is going to be yours that technique is going to be yours so list of heading will not be difficult if you focus all the points which i taught you in this video if you like this video hit the like button right and subscribe my channel 
click the bell icon. I have another channel Asad Yaqub Vlogs. You can subscribe to that as well. And I have a Facebook page Asad Yaqub IELTS. You can like my Facebook page as well. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, by the way, my online IELTS classes are becoming very, very popular all over the world. So if you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaku wishes you all the best with IELTS reading, with academic IELTS reading, with list of herrings. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Adios. Allah Hafiz.